<laughs> Look at that, her eyes follow the mouse. Hello everyone, welcome to Chaos Plays Friend Bo, a point-and-click style adventure game. I've been hearing nothing but good things about this little indie contribution, so I decided to check it out. Uh, I want to apologize in advance for my voice in these first few parts. I'm currently recovering from a really nasty bug. Up until a day or two ago, I couldn't even talk. So this is a tremendous improvement. Uh, with that out of the way, I'm going to get everything all set up, and I'll see you inside. Oh, there's no- okay. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. Monday night. Oh, it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels really bad. Oh. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's Mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Uh-oh. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Fran, please, follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Oh, I get to pick. I'm fine, I guess, or I feel like dying. Oh, I wonder how much impact these are going to have. Okay, so I get to make my first choice. Uh, I'm fine, I guess. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. I want to find the killer or I want to go home. She looks like she's a little kid. I think she'd probably say she wants to go home. I want to go home. You can't go home, Fran. You have to get well. I need my cat, or I'm not crazy. But I'm not crazy at all. Let me out. You know we cannot do that. But now I have something for you, Fran. <laughs> it could be sarcastic. Oh, really? Or what is it? Let's be polite. 
What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. So I guess I... Oh, I, I clicked. It's a severed hand! This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Alright, so I just... Ah! Oh, there's a note. Um... Oh. Dearest Fran, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you liked to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all give it and all other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Mm, Aunt Grace. Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. I'm so tired of this, or can I leave now? Um... I feel like she'd probably be a little irritated by all this nonsense. I know I would be. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave. Before you do, it's time for you, your, yeah, your new medicine. Hmm. I'm kind of against excessive medication. I believe it's a last resort because I think that people have a tendency to prescribe it at the drop of a hat when there's no reason to. So I'm with Fran. No more medicine. I don't want to try more medicine. It's called Duotine. It will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dr. Dern or Dr. Dearn? I guess that's Dr. Dearn. Okay. Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. What, so you guys are on- do you guys think she's still nuts because she keeps seeing her parents murder over and over again? I mean, I guess maybe you'd be like, well, friend, there's no such thing as monsters, so that's a little weird, but she's a little kid. She probably saw the person who killed them in the window, and they probably looked like some scary thing. I don't really think she needs to be here, because that's what she sees. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Oh, I gotta... Hooray! I took the pills, so now what? Uh-oh. I don't feel good. Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Yeah, good, don't let her take that ever again. Jesus. Beware, friend Bo. If you leave the House of Madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Aww. My sweet kitty. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Hooray! Is she gonna wake up on her own, or do I have to wake her up? There we go. Wakey, wakey, friend. I'm still here. Hideous place. Can I... You gonna get up? I have to get out of here. Sorry if I seem slightly distracted. The, uh, the microphone is actually <laughs> clipping the bottom of the screen. So I have to tilt my head to see all of the words. And the, the purse, it's sort of in the way. But it's the only setup I got. 
And again, sorry if I sound a little weird. I am recovering from a cold. And what do I do? Oh, I can like look at everything. I don't want to. I just woke up. It's fine. I'm not gonna make you. What's this? Oh. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would sh would <laughs> oh she spelled it wrong would show me where he is. Oh, oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight. I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. Okay, so she has like three things to say. I will. F oh, okay. Okay. So that's her comments on all the notes. What is this? Okay. Fran Bo Dang Dagenhart. That's a funky last name, jeez. Oh, she's ten. Okay, I thought she was younger than that. Patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis, so she ran away from her home and ended up outside of here. Okay. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Wow, 1944. Psy... Cho... What? Oh, I didn't... I, I was too slow. Side effects. Effects affecting one side of me, maybe. Oh dear, I really wonder who brought me here. Psy... Cho... What? I'm not that for sure. It's a creepy clown picture. I will get your nose. I will get it. Oh, look at the cute little pose. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Oh, okay. So it's three things. She has three things to say about everything. What is in this drawer? Locked. Good reason to get curious. I should get the key for this. Still closed. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. <laughs> it does the same as before. <laughs> She's frustrated. <coughs> oh, friend, you are adorable. What is this? Oh. Oh, holy moly, something fell. Oh, dear. A handy hook. I'll save it to play pirate later. Nice. So it's in my bag now. Well, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. You're so pleased. Let's look outside. Oh. Man, this looks more like a prison than a, than a psychiatric hospital. Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fran. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or is it defense tower? Hmm. I guess that's my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Probably not. Okay, so what's over here? Okay. Hey! Hello, Phil! Oh, it's Phil. Hello. How are you? How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid. <laughs> they always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? The key? Is there a key inside of the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. I'm sorry. Oh! Hello! All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Okay. Well, that was, um... Leave me alone. I hate you. Oh. Oh, no. Mommy. Daddy. I need you so much right now. Oh, poor thing. No. 
I won't let that monster stop me. What is this? Fillmore Bronston, age 8, gender male. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronston. The boy has developed paranoid behavior, paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dern. Keep calling him Dern. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Huh. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Okay, only two for that one. I hope somebody loves you. Oh, Hello again, Mr. Teddy. This is the cutest little pose. I love it. Ah, uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, a secret box. Shh. Interesting. Oh, wouldn't Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? Back and forth. <laughs> the trip of our lives. Yeehaw! <laughs> it's a chair. If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? To be seated or not to be seated, that is the question. Okay. <laughs> that was cute. Can't talk to him anymore. Or I probably can, but I imagine he'll say the same thing. So what's this way? Oh! What is this? My legs are just fine. Um, I'm not disabled. Okay. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. Towels! Towels! I don't need towels! I don't think I need any of this. Okay. Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. I know that the nurses always keep the medicine, but where? Oh, I am after the medicine. Okay. Let's talk to her. Oh, friend, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. What? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you are not taking it anymore. Something happened. I did something. Oh, the curtain. I think I did this out of order. I think I was supposed to go here before the other room. Oh, well. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See, you are nothing but trouble. What is it? Wow. I was trying to look outside, and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Uh... I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still inside this room. Oh, I have to go... over here. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains? What's a hook? I've not seen anything. No, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Wow. You're kind of an asshole. She lived! Let's go look at her stuff. Ooh. Oh, band-aids. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Neat. Ew. Oh, just ew. Okay. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities, such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. This is a drawing of the brain. The frontal lobe, motor, motor cortex, sensory cortex, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. Well, you probably have been through a lot of trauma. <laughs> that brain looks like a turtle. I guess it kind of does. And that's it? Yeah. Okay. It's a paper. <clears throat> uh, Lattice something. Patient name Bo. 
Oh, this writing is a little bit much. Uh, the patient has something sleep. Oh, has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been something for three days now. Oh, social for three days now. Some kids have come around and asked about her and where she, oh my God, and when she would be coming out, when she would come out and play. Okay. Sorry, this cursive handwriting is kind of a mess. Let's see. Duo teen. Oh, there's a, a code. Eight H, or eight is H? Should probably write that down unless I'm gonna keep this paper. Am I gonna keep this paper? No, I'm not going to. Okay. I'm gonna actually scribble that down on a piece of note paper because I always have note paper nearby. Especially when playing games. Eight H. Drawer. Ooh, what's this? Oh! I think this is where the medicine is, but it is locked. Okay, so I have to use the code from this paper to open it up. Okay, so according to this paper, so I actually didn't need to write that down, so it should be 8, 9, 4, 5. Okay, I'll open that up in a second. What's this? Oh! Oh my goodness, this is terrible! Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all! I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, let's open this thing. Uh, use. Okay, so this should be... Six, seven, eight. And... Yes! Aha! The pills! Kitty told me this would help me. Hooray! Pills. So I just... Just click on them and... Okay! Hey everyone! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video and you want to help my channel grow, why not like the video? Or share it with your friends? If you want to see more, why not subscribe? Or enjoy one of the annotated videos? Thanks a bunch, you guys. I couldn't do it without you.